so hello my tech people and welcome back to my channel so it's been a while uh, since i have posted uh, any video on youtube so just wanted to say you all sorry for that delay but yeah uh, we are going to start with a fresh and new and exciting topic that will help you in your logic building and uh, interview so we gonna see how you can reverse a number with various methods and i will be explaining you in very easy manner so let's jump into the video but before that uh, i am using a uh, whiteboard for the first time so let's see how it goes so yeah let's jump into the video okay so let's see the problem statement so let's use the pen so let's say we have a number let's say 1 2 3 and 4 so we want to uh, reverse it so it, it will give the output like 4 3 Two, one. So how we can do that? So there are various may, uh, way to do that. So, so the best way we will be using a loop and we will extracting the last digit and do the processor. So let's say, uh, okay. So let's say we have the number one, two, three, four. So first step we are going to uh, do that. We have to extract this four. So here you can see the four digit is our last digit. So uh, with the help of modulus operator, modulus operator, we will remove this four. So we will have, uh, let's say I will store that uh, four in the last digit into one uh, last variable. So let's see uh, what about these things. So next step, next step we have to do, like first we have to, uh, take one uh, temporary variable you can see i will assign it as zero so this variable will we use we will be using to display our final output so this variable will keep adding or you can say appending uh, all these character all these digits one by one into this variable so uh, after that we will have to do let's say i have taken this variable because i have to update that variable so in this we will use uh, one small formula we can say like reverse multiply by 10 and plus the last which we which we have used this here okay so what this will do so this will multiply uh, 10 by 0 so it will give 0 plus the last digit the last digit we have got is 4 and it will it is storing that thing into the reverse variable so it will add up 4 and our new thing here will be 4 so it's not 0 now it's not uh, it's now 4 so next thing this is our first step so we have to repeat it again but what about this uh, 1 2 3 is still there so next step we have to remove this 4 from our original number so we can do this by the floor operator so floor just uh, keep in mind uh, this and this uh, these are two different things so this is used for division it will give into float values the just what we do in normal division but this thing will give you uh, you a integer value so let's say our uh, output is generating uh, in the simple division 2.3 but in floor division we will give uh, it will give only the floor value that is 2 just keep in mind that uh, we have to use this floor operator operator so next thing uh, i will be taking the number so i haven't used that so number equal to 1 2 3 4 so this is the original number we have stored that number into the uh, num variable let's say so we have to update that also so i will be writing num equals to and here i will be using a floor operator so we are we are having one two three four so that means number floor and i will be uh, flooring it with 10 so it will remove this thing and it will only keep the first thing so i will show you uh, i will show you like this one two three four and if you take the floor of this so it will give only one two three so our uh, new number updated number is one two three so i will just write here num equal to one two three is our new number and our reverse number is four so same step we have to loop and again and again 
uh, so these three uh, you can say the three statement are going to repeat again and again until our statement or our condition is not false that means zero so we will see it practically so first uh, like i have used the code here so i will just explain it here let's copy let me copy here i hope you can dispute this so yeah this is our what the code is saying just let me zoom okay so first uh, we will be taking a number we can take a input number from any user or i just uh, assign the number to the number variable and as i say we will be having one temporary variable you can say a reverse so it will be displayed at the fine so i will be using for while loop so while a condition will be our like until this statement uh, until our number is let's say zero we have to loop through it loop through this statement so uh, when the condition will be zero so it will just print out the result so first step as i say as i said first we have to find the modulo of that uh, number so it will give at the first step it will give us uh, four yeah four and in the second step it will be give us it will be give zero plus four and it will store that reverse into this reverse variable that is four now updated we have updated the reverse as four and next thing we have to remove this four from the our original number so it will uh, the number will be one two three as uh, the condition is not yet false because the number is uh, the number we have updated is one two three which is not uh, less than zero yeah so it is not less than zero so again we will uh, look through it so we will be coming to this process uh, this step at the last is equal to number modulus 10 so number we have uh, the updated number we have is 123 modulo 10 so it will give us so it will give us the 3 as the last number 3 and the next step we will be doing is reverse into 10 so reverse into 10 that is uh, we we were having 4 as the reverse into 10 plus the last digit that is 3 so it will be like 40 plus 3 it will be 43 so that is what we are getting the reverse number is 4 and 3 so it will go and update the reverse variable so reverse variable is now our 4 3 same procedure we will be doing throughout the loop until condition is false uh, so it will loop through till the end of this core and after that uh, it will be printing the original number so that the number will be 4 3 2 1 so this is what a simple logic is so just keep in mind this formula you can say the formula of this so we are good to go to perform the coding operation so let's see in the coding so i am using a vs code here so first thing i will be taking as mentioned i will taking a number let's say one two three four same number i will be taking and reverse at zero so this is our uh, let's say base case uh, we have assigned variables and the numbers and this reverse will be updating uh, as the loop will keep on going on so next step i will be using while loop to perform that and let's say y number is greater than zero you can use for loop or here also by using a range function but a while loop i guess it's efficient for performing this uh, reverse number so next step i will be taking a last so it will give us the last integer digit and as i said we have to do the modulus operator so you can see it will give at the first step it will give us the uh, 4 as the remainder so this will give us the remainder and the floor operation will give us the question so next step is reverse so i i just want to update this reverse number so reverse reverse into 10 
and I just want to add the last digit which is this last okay so here it will give uh, it will be like 0 plus 4 so our new number updated number will be 4, 4 here so next step I have to extract the first uh, remaining digit and I have to remove the last digit one by one so next step is uh, is number number um, floor operation floor and 10 so here it will give us the floor 1 2 3 4 and the floor of this number is 1 2 3 so it will perform this task until the condition is not uh, false so next step we have to uh, break from the loop uh, when the condition will be false so it will simply print this updated reverse so i will just print this reverse so let's run this so as you can see 4321 is our updated reverse number simply we can use like let's say i will be using 969 so you can see 9696 so this was the simple process just keep in mind this logic first we have to extract the last digit then update the reverse uh, by performing this operation and then perform this uh, similar task on the remaining operation so this was my simple explanation on how you can reverse a number so uh, there are many various steps you can use string of and all this method slowly we will uh, jump on that also i will make many videos on uh, similar uh, interview preparation you can say or logic building so it will help you also to gain the logic and also i will uh, put all this code on my github so you can access that whenever you want and just practice on that i will uh, just follow the same process uh, i will be explaining on whiteboard and then uh, we will jump into this coding and i will make a series of reversing the number with various methods and same for the string and many other factorial and various logic buildings so yeah that's it for today's video and i hope you have understand the uh, the way i have explained you so thank you for watching and don't forget to like share and what was that uh, yeah subscribe to my channel so that's it for today's video thank you